Plectranthus madagascariensis, commonly known as variegated mint leaf or thicket colus, needs specific care to thrive. Find out what this specific care entails with the Daily Eco. Proper location and light. When it comes to knowing if it's better to put the variegated mint leaf indoors or outdoors, it depends completely on your local climate. As with all plants of tropical origin, it supports mild temperatures well, but does not survive excessive heat or cold. If you live in an area with mild temperatures, you should be able to grow your variegated mint leaf without problem. In a cold or Mediterranean climate, you'll need to keep it indoors. Find a room without extreme temperatures and with as much light as possible. In summer, make sure the light is indirect and always be careful of the magnifying effects of window pane glass on the plant as it can damage the leaves. If using a pot, it's very important it has drainage holes in the bottom. How to water the variegated mint leaf. As with all plants, it's important that watering is more frequent in the warm months when the plant is most active. In the case of this plant, it's important that the substrate never floods, so it's better if watering is more frequent and less abundant. You can check the condition of the substrate by inserting a toothpick or finger to see if the soil sticks. After watering, be sure to remove any excess water from the dish about 10 to 15 minutes later. Try to water when the top layer of the substrate has dried. You'll know this when no dirt sticks to the toothpick or finger when checking it. Before continuing, let's put you to the test. Where does the variegated mint leaf originate? A. Africa B. Turkey C. Indonesia Have a think about your answer and find out if you got it right at the end of the video. Recommended substrate As we have already mentioned, the plant does not tolerate waterlogging. This can easily cause its roots to rot. Variegated mint leaf is not particularly demanding on the nutrients of the soil, so the most important thing is to enhance the drainage capacity and the lightness of its soil. Mix equal parts peat, coconut fibre and worm castings and add a good handful of vermiculite and perlite. This mixture provides a substrate that is very rich in nutrients, which the plant will appreciate, even if it does not need a large amount. More importantly, it's very light and offers ideal properties, efficient water retention and drainage of any excess. Ideal fertilizer. It's best to use organic fertilizer during the spring and summer months. Vermi compost is one of the best options for its levels of beneficial microorganisms, but organic compost or guano are also great options. Learn how to make homemade organic compost in the video we share above pruning and reproduction of variegated mint leaf. The best time to prune variegated mint leaf is in early spring, when its height can be lowered by half, although you should remove dead leaves and flowers throughout the year. You can also take advantage of pruning to make cuttings, which is the best way to propagate it. Cuttings taken in spring have a better chance of rooting well, especially if you use the substrate mixture we provide in this video. You can also boost them with rooting hormone, something you can make at home. Returning to the question we asked you before, do you have your answer ready? The correct answer is A. Variegated mint leaf is native to Africa. If you want to continue learning about plant care, don't miss the playlist we share here. Let us know if you have success growing this fantastic plant, and we'll see you next time.